Hey, what's up? This is Phil. And Aaron. And we are from the band All That Remains, and you are watching Reality Check TV. Reality Check TV. Hey, this is Shell with BAM Magazine and Reality Check TV. Woo, double duty today. Hell yeah. We got Michael Gianni. We got All That Remains. Who do we got here? We Aaron. got Aaron and we got Phil. <laughs> Aaron's like, look, we talked about this. You don't call me Jack again. I'm tired of this shit, you know? Like yeah. So, um, All That Remains. You're here at Aftershock 2015. Yep. Wow. It's amazing. You know? What's the deal? Have you gone here before and just like slummed in the stadiums, you know, <laughs> snuck on in, just like be a fan among uh, down at the core stage, you know, hanging? Nah, have you ever done that? Just, yeah. no have you ever like yeah. have you ever snuck into seriously though into a festival where you're just like, hey, you know, no one knows who uh, you No, are. I haven't. You need to do it. I I mean, yeah. yes, all the time. All the time. I'm that's that's what I do when I'm home from tours. I sneak into festivals. <laughs> that's right. That would be kind of cool, right? Because I don't get enough festivals on the road. I right? pay. I fl <laughs> find them and I fly to them and I. Stand in line too, right? Oh yeah. Enjoy the whole. I stand thing. in line first, and then I sneak in. <laughs> yeah. They use like a cosplay outfit to hide. Oh my gosh. Eat. Well, I'm going to switch the mic over to Michael because he's got some questions for you guys. Because you are like, I, I love your music, and I think it's awesome. But he's like super turbo fan, so that's kind of cool. Turbo. He can break down like the music and stuff. So. Okay, so uh, I know you guys are uh, here today, and then you're in uh, what is it, Flagstaff? In a couple days? We were in Florida. Or, or two days ago. Two days ago. Okay. We had a day off, and then we're here today, and then tomorrow we do uh, not fest. Right? Correct. Tomorrow's oh, not wow. fest. And you guys are part of the Hard Drive Live? That's part of the Hard Drive Live? Yeah, tour? we're doing yes. the Hard Drive Live uh, Fallout Tour. It's us. We came as Romans, um, like Moss of Flames and uh, Red Sun Rising. So. And then I heard uh, a couple days ago you guys are going to be headlining your own tour. Uh, yeah. Starting next year? Yeah, we're doing uh, no, not starting next year. We get we get done with the, the hard so drive live tour. Do you tour. get a break? I'm I'm tired just hearing how much you have to do. Wow. Yeah, we we, <laughs> we took uh, we took most of the summertime okay. off. We were doing you know we'd fly to fly to festivals and, uh, on weekends and stuff. But most of the summer was was off for us. So we're gonna get finish this one, and then we do a headlining tour with uh, Audio Topsy. Who else is on it? Um, Devour the Day. Devour the Day, right. Audio Topsy, and there's one other band that escaped from me right now. I apologize, okay. guys. Um, and that I goes from like. I forgot your name, so it's fine. <laughs> that goes from uh, November 17th. 17th, right? Does it start? Yes. Yeah, November 17th until the probably the 20th of, of December. So, yep. and then we'll probably chill out for the for the holidays. We might do one show around home. And then come January, Feb end, end of January, beginning of February time, we're going to start doing some more touring, I believe, in North America. But as of right now, there's nothing solid that I can announce. So. Okay, so you can't say you're going to be somewhere in San Francisco at any time soon or anything? Is it is it on? It, no, but is it like on the agenda maybe for the next couple you know couple years to get something besides a big festival with you guys doing your own tour with coming to Sacramento or San Jose is kind of far for us but you know but being from BAM in San Francisco that's not too bad you know, yeah. so. I mean we, pl we played Sacramento before um, I don't oh think I know you have it's been a little while you yeah know? I don't think we have I don't I don't think we have one booked on the next tour for Sacramento that's but okay. uh, we uh, you know I'm sure that we're going to be doing another US tour before we you know come off the road to start writing again so we'll see we don't usually we don't select the cities that we go to. Our booking agent usually handles oh, that stuff. Oh, absolutely, so. absolutely. You got something, Mike? Yeah. Okay. So, um, one of my one question I've always wanted to ask you guys is: so, who are some of your influences? I mean, I I listen to your music and I hear you know some old you know Slayer, Iron Maiden, you know with the dual guitars. I mean, I could see like a lot of the old classic kind of metal influence in a modern twist. I mean, even some Pantera, you know, with your sure. vocals, you know, you've got the melodies, then you've got the hard crushing, sure. you know, vocals. You know, so who are some of your? Um, well, throughout the band, it's pretty pretty varied. Um, you know, we're all except for Aaron and Mike. Most of us are you know over forty or or pushing forty. So like we're most of the stuff that we listen to is like Metallica, you know, Iron Maiden, you know, Judas Priest, stuff like that. You know, that was what we first kind of got playing when we were playing music, and then as time progresses you know I got into more stuff like death metal like cannibal corpse like grave like entomb like suffocation and and more of the Swedish metal stuff like at the gates like in flames and stuff and you know Ollie our lead guitar player he got he got into stuff like Nightwish and, and Dream Theater really technical stuff Mike was always into like the more rock stuff so he was really into Guns N' Roses and and you know Black uh, Black Label Society and, and Zach Wild stuff and so the, when you pull all those 
those different, uh, you know, influences together. You like 40 bands. I was trying to keep track. I was trying to categorize them in my brain when you're yeah. doing like, you know. And they, and, it, and they really do span a pretty wide Field variety, and that's sure. just in metal, you know. That's yeah. not that's not talking about like the pop music that we listen to and stuff. And I've been saying, you know, all day, like we really try to focus on writing good songs. And when we record them, they're gonna sound like a metal band because we have guitars that sound like metal. We have drums that are, you know, that sound like metal drums. Oh uh, yeah, I mean so. your drummer and and I mean some of his some of his yeah. lines in there are just, you know, like I said, Slayer, double bass ass, you know, from way back, and it's just so powerful. And Thanks, you know. I, I, I tell everybody who I see, you know, that you guys are probably the most technical, <laughs> technically sound metal band I've ever heard as far as your riffs are clean, you know, your levels, and, and it's, it's like I said, it's technically at a scale above a lot of the other bands out there, awesome. and I can honestly say uh, your, your album Overcome, to me, is right there with uh, Guns N' Roses' Appetite, as, as, a, <laughs> as a cover to cover, I mean, there isn't Make a song sure. I'll fast forward. That's Michael, he's a Turbo fan, you know. <laughs> But I'm just saying, you know, Bam Magazine, Bay Area, um, is there, have you guys, like, had an opportunity, like, when you're on your off times to just, like, you know, I know there's big things coming off on your big, you know, off times, but, like, being a tourist and just kind of hanging out, you know. Sneaking into festivals. Besides sneaking into festivals, but, like, you know, what do you guys, seriously, what do you guys do on your off time, like, when you get a chance? What's your writing process? Do you do it in studio, or do you, like, take your individual times and then Skype your stuff? <laughs> Everyone kind of comes up with their own pieces, okay. and then we'll thought. get together yeah. and, and kind of suss through it. You know, it doesn't become a song until everyone's got of course. until everyone's got their stuff. Like some bands, you know, one dude writes the music and says, a "Here's pressure. a song. Yeah. Here's the song. Here are, or here are the songs." With us, it's like we've got these parts. What do you think? Do they work together? Do you like this? And a lot of times, you know, if it's or actually all the time, if it's a majority of people that say yes and nobody has a better idea or a different idea, then it gets used. If 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 I don't like something but I can't come up with something to make it better, right. where the hell do I get off saying no? We're not going to use right. it. You know, so there's no power trippers here. You know, I mean yeah. a little bit, yeah. but not really. Everyone's on their own power tripper, right? Right, handsome. Yeah. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, back it up. Back it up. <laughs> You know, we appreciate your guys' time, you know, so you guys are going to do your thing and then tomorrow you're going to be able to hang out or you're going to be gone, no, boom, you know, off to, off off to the next thing. Fest. That's if I was paying attention because he's doing Not Fest, you know, because we're at Aftershock 2015. This is BAM Magazine and, you know, Rep and Shell with Reality Check and we got Michael Gianni wearing a couple hats here. Thanks so much for your guys' time, you know, Absolutely. we really appreciate it. Yeah, On the cuff. Amazing.